Hey gang, whether you got into ZZ Top in the 70s through waiting for the bus, or in the 80s through Sharp Dressed Man, you probably fell hard for the Texas Boogie Blues Rock just like I did. The lick that we're going to do today is one that Billy Gibbons used throughout their history, and it's the very first one that really grabbed me. Coming right up. When I was in eighth grade, my guitar buddy Roger started playing this absolutely killer riff. I learned it was LaGrange by ZZ Top, so I instantly had to go out and buy Trace Hombres. And that album has a lot of great guitar riffs and great songs, but of course the first song that I had to put on was LaGrange. And yeah, it does have a killer opening riff. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting into that riff and the vibe of the song and all, and then the key shifts and Billy pulls out this spectacular specimen. Absolutely killer. Just totally blew me away at the time, and it still does. That triplet rhythm is kind of like Jimmy Page's Good Times, Bad Times lick, but it's a little bit different and Billy used it quite often. It's got a number of standard blues rock tricks, or tricks that are now standard in blues rock, so I think it warrants a closer look. Let's have a look. First, one of the reasons that it's impactful is that there's an abrupt key change from A to C blues, and Billy makes the most of it, as we're going to see in just a second. Now, before we get going, the lick is in C minor pentatonic, and it uses the lower extension as well, which is kind of important here. All right, with that out of the way, let's take a look at it part by part. Here's the first part. <laughs> That's right, just that first note. It's not fancy, but it really does grab you, doesn't it? Now, because there's an abrupt key change from A blues to C blues, it makes total sense simply to play that root note to emphasize that. That's what Billy Gibbons does, but he does it by bending to the note, he takes the B flat on the B string 11th fret, bends that up a whole step, and then adds some vibrato to that bent note. Adding vibrato to a bent note, great technique, well worth practicing. All right, part two has quite a few more notes in it, and it's got a standard trick not only used by Billy Gibbons, but Angus Young as well. All right, let's play it slowly first. Now the beginning part of that is just a C minor pentatonic pattern lick. And now the cool part, we're going to come down on the 8th fret on both the B and the G strings. Now that is actually tough to execute, so make sure you practice that. Go back up to the G string now. And on the D string, 10th fret, give it a little vibrato. And you'll want to use pull-offs to make it sound nice and smooth. Now the third part is a standard blues rock maneuver, so you'll definitely want to get it down. All right, so here's the third part. And here it is slowly. Now we're sliding down to the lower extension, and this is very common in blues rock. Many players will do that instead of just staying in the normal pentatonic. Instead of playing, they'll slide down. It sounds really cool. And also slide back up. And you can even slide up to the upper extension as well. And notice how it's all these quick slides, it's not slow slides. All together, it's just a great lick to know, and all of its parts are really interesting and good to know as well, because you can use them elsewhere. And in fact, here's an example you may recognize. It doesn't quite sound the same without the other band members in there, but it's still pretty cool, and you get the picture, I'm sure. 
Isn't Billy just the coolest? I just love his licks. Now, if you have any trouble whatsoever playing this lick, I would advise you clicking on this video because it's the big daddy of all the triplet licks. And I go really into depth on making the picking a lot, lot easier. So check out that video and we'll see you on down the road.